So today we're going to be talking about Poshmark, which is basically shopping online. So the contents of today's presentation is, are, what is Poshmark? How does the app slash website work? The refund policy, the frequently asked questions, pros and cons, online marketplace alternatives, and a live demonstration. What is Poshmark? Poshmark is an online marketplace that sells secondhand clothing and other items for people of all ages and genders. Whatever fits best to your liking, Poshmark customizes your choice of style within the website. On this website, a buyer can expect to purchase an item from a seller within their region slash location where shipping is made faster one to seven days for $12.99. You may expect a higher price range when purchasing outside of your country Example, a person in Canada who purchases an item from the US has to convert the currency, which may result in a higher price for the item and shipping fee. Poshmark will also provide the buyer with a secure transaction known as Posh Protect. Poshmark will not release the payment until the order arrives and looks as described in the image. There's a three day time frame where the buyer can contact Poshmark if the order is misrepresented, along with photos for evidence. Once approved, Poshmark will send a return label where the item can be returned to the seller and a refund will be provided. While purchasing, Poshmark accepts PayPal, Venmo, debit or credit, Google or Apple Pay. How does Poshmark work? With over 70 million members across the United States, Canada, and Australia, Poshmark provides a variety of options to choose from, including clothing and apparel, shoes, bags, or accessories, and home, product, home products such as accents, bath, bedding, dining, kitchen, and so much more. In order to access Poshmark, you must create an account. This enables you to buy or sell within the Poshmark community. It also allows you to join free posh parties, which are virtual buying slash selling events. Getting started on Poshmark. Go to poshmark.com on your computer or download the free app from the App Store for iOS devices or the Play Store for Android devices. Click sign up to cr start creating an account. You can sign up with your email and create a password or sign up with your Facebook account or Google account. Once you've inputted the info required to create an account, it will ask you for some additional info to customize your profile, like your gender and clothing size. This step is optional, so you can leave them blank if you'd like and click next to move on. Then it will ask you to follow your favorite brands and select your favorites or click next again to skip. Then click start shopping. So here's an image of what it would look like when they ask you for some brands that you would be interested in. How to buy items on Poshmark. Once you have an account set up, you can start shopping. Simply search for a des desired product in the search bar or choose a designated category and browse through the options available. Click on an item to show the description, price, and photos. When you click buy now, Poshmark will lead you to check out. You can also make a counter offer to see if the seller is willing to sell it for a lower price. For your uh, first purchase, it's also good to know that the company uh, will charge a discounted $5.99 shipping fee. And on certain occasions, Poshmark can offer free shipping. Poshmark also provides free authentication and discounted shipping, also known as Posh Authenticate, when purchasing a luxury product. With a purchase of $700 or more, Poshmark will run the item into a scanner, Poshmark HQ. This determines if the product is authentic, and if so, the product will be made available for purchase. A refund will be made if the product does not match the description. How to sell items on Poshmark. If you wish to try and sell an item, click Sell on Poshmark then you will be required to upload a photo of the item you would like to sell. You will have to add a title, description, info about the quality of the item, size, color, etc. 
When you're done, you can click Next and the listing will be added to Poshmark. When someone expresses their interest to purchase your item, the company will provide you with a prepaid pre-address label to send out the package. Simply print and apply the label on the package and then deliver it to your local post office. So the refund policy, what's covered? Undisclosed damage, where an item is damaged without notice, incorrect or missing item, an item is not described, is not as described or non-authentic. What's not covered, what you cannot return, are items that don't fit or you change your mind or trades or, or offline transactions. So these are some of the brands that are uh, sold on Poshmark. So brands like Nike, Michael Kors, Louis Vuitton, uh, Lululemon, Pink, and Coach. And these are some frequently asked questions from the Poshmark website. So for example, how can I find and connect with poshers in my local community? So they've recently launched a feature for poshers to find each other based on their location. Just click shop in the app, scroll down to the bottom of the page, click on my city and discover poshers near you. It's a great way to connect virtually with people in your community. And then another question is, is it still safe to ship and receive packages during COVID-19? Yes, you can continue to ship and receive packages according to today's guidance from the World Health Organization, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, and the US Surgeon General. We will continue to monitor the situation and keep you updated. So if you ever have any further questions about Poshmark, Poshmark also does have a support section on their website. Pros of using Poshmark. Refunds. Refunds are available and made easy to access. Customizable. You can customize the website according to your liking. Example, price range, type of clothing, color, etc. Customer support. You can contact the company for support if there was trouble with your purchase. Commenting. You can comment on the seller's post and communicate with them to request more info. Another uh, pro is the variety of brands to choose from. Sellers can also offer bundles, example, three or more item results in a discounted price. Sustainability. Buying clothing and other items secondhand is better for the environment than buying them new. Cons of using Poshmark. Shipping fees. After your first purchase, Poshmark will, stand, will charge a standard shipping fee of $12.99 going forward. It may be hard to find buyers for your older slash well-used items. If selling lower cost items, you may not make as much money because of the shipping cost. If you are looking to make more of a profit, it's best to sell higher end brand named items. So these are some online marketplace alternatives, um, Facebook marketplace. And so when you receive this presentation after, you can just click on these links to watch our previous webinars. And then there's Craigslist and Kijiji, Etsy, eBay, and Wish. So now it's time for a live demonstration. All right, so to find the Poshmark website, uh, you can head over to poshmark.com. And on the top right corner, you should be able to see the options to log in or sign up. And since I have an account, I can click on login. And again, you have the option to continue with Facebook, Google, or Apple. And because I have an account, I can click login. So this is what it looks like when you head over to your Posh, to the Poshmark website. And so you're right now, what we are in is the feed. So I'll click it again just to make sure. And so the feed is where you see what the people you follow are selling. So for example, this account is selling these dresses and the shirt. And for example, if I was interested in buying uh, maybe the shirt, I would click on it and be able to see more about it. Like what the name is, the price, which is $20. And here they have a, a description of the item and they also included measurements if, in case you're worried about it fitting. And it also tells information about the shipping and the cost. And if I was interested in this top, I can uh, buy it now or make an offer. 
And then if I'd buy it now, I'd charge it. And I think to make an offer is to talk to the seller itself and see if they would negotiate the price down. And I can even like it and save for later if I'm not interested in buying it right now. Now, other sections of the website include news. And when you click on news, it tells you um, more about things like who's following you and if anyone's invited you to any events. So for example, there's a posh party tomorrow at 7 p.m. and I'm invited to it. So I think that means that it'll be a party where I have opportunity to buy and sell items. And the way following uh, people works on Poshmark is whoever follows you will see what you're selling. So, and whoever you follow, you will find out what they're selling. So for example, if you think your friend has nice clothes, you could find them on Poshmark and see and keep update um, on what they're selling. And so another tab is my offers. So when you click on that, you can see everything that, so for example, for a purchase. So if you made an offer on something, so for example, the previous shirt, if I asked her to reduce the price, I would see it over here and be able to keep track of all the things I put an offer in for. And if I was selling something, I would see if anyone made an offer for me. And if you were interested in becoming like an avid Poshmarker and selling a lot of things, Poshmark has a bunch of options for, um, so you can look at your stats and how many things you're selling. And again, there's another tab here for my likes. So you can see all the items that you've liked in case you wanna head back to them. And then another tab to look at is my bundles. So you can add bundles here and that way you save money because you're selling, you're buying more things from one person that's selling. So that way you can also uh, save on shipping because you're, you're not making multiple orders. So let's take a look and search a listing. So let's say I want a shirt. And so here are all the results for shirts. And there are many categories I can go through. I want to see if there's anything for pets. And there are, and they're very cute. Oh my goodness. And so the dog that I don't have, I think they look better in pink. So I'm going to make sure that only pink results show up. And so all the filters are there on the left. And I think I want to treat my dog. So I want to, I want to spend some good money on it. So let's look for any, okay. So there are no dog shirts between $250 and uh, $500. So let's lower the price. Let's actually, I'm on a budget. So let's try under 25. And now we see various um, results that are pink and under 25. And here we have options for brands, sizes. And again, if you set up your size, when you make your account, you can just change the filter so that clothing only appears in your size. And let's see if there's anything for free shipping. And let me go through all the filters you can go. So there's shipping, there's condition, there's availability and types. So those are the things you can filter when you're searching stuff. And you can also sort by high to low, low to high, recent price recently dropped, or things that you like. And now another thing we can go through is how to sell on Poshmark, how to sell on Poshmark, which is on the top right corner. So once you click on that button, you'll be able to create a listing. So to create a listing, you need to upload a picture of an item you're trying to sell. So if you click on it, you can just upload a picture from your computer. And then you would add a title, a description. So for example, if I was selling a bag, I'd say like Jansport backpack, and I'd say perfect to take to school or bright colors to make you stand out. You basically bring out your inner um, marketing strategies. And you can add it to a category to make it easier to, for people to find. Uh, if it's a single item or multi-item, you can select a size. And then if it has tags or not, you can enter the brand. Again, this will help people find your stuff quickly. 
You can set up colors, style, pricing. So the price uh, does change the shipping. So for example, let's say I'm selling something for $20. The original price was 20 and I'm gonna sell it for 20, I guess. And so I would make $16 out of it with a normal shipping. Like if, they, if I charge them $12.99 for shipping, I would make $16. And then once you're done, you can click next and your listing will be public. And the last section of the website that I can show you guys is how it works. So if you're ever in doubt and you just wanna know more information about Poshmark, you can just click on this how it works button. It's beside the sell on Poshmark and it tells you all sorts of information like how does Poshmark work, how to attend Posh parties, shipping, Posh Protect. So all this information is on the left. And here you can also find the frequently asked questions and contacting them. All right, so I think that's everything I have to share about Poshmark.